I'll bet that you want to be successful. In fact, I will also wager that you have spent a lot of times asking yourself the question, how can I be successful? What is success? Um, how can I achieve the dreams that I have within myself? And I just want to begin this talk by congratulating you because if those are questions you've asked, if those are thoughts that you have gone through your mind, I want you to know that you have probably within you a restlessness and a potential that says to me that you have not yet achieved your maximum success. You have not yet probably arrived to your greatest potential. And that's why we're spending time together because I have a passion, a great passion in my life to help people be successful. Uh, there's no greater joy that I have than to walk along beside somebody just like you and find out where you are and then say, okay, um, this is where you are, but this is where you could be. And you look at me and say, John, that's exactly what I want. I want to go there. I want to be there. I want to, I want to arrive that, to that destination. And together we kind of, we kind of work it out and, and, and we make it. So let's talk about success. You see, the first mistake that people make about success is that they somehow think that it's a destination. So they'll come up to me and they'll say, John, um, uh, how do I become a success? Uh, how do I arrive to my dream? And, and I can tell that they look at success as something out there. They're here. And success is out there, and so somehow they think that uh, over time, I suppose, that if they do the right things, they can get there. And I, the first thing I want you to know, that success is, is not a destination, it's a journey. Think of success as a process. Let me, let me illustrate it and explain it this way. Uh, if, if you go to college... Uh, you work hard and in four or five years, depending on what kind of degree you're working on, and, and in today's society, sometimes six or seven years, but, but eventually uh, you, you, comes the day of graduation and you're all excited and your family is there and your friends are there and, and you're there with your classmates and you've got your cap and your gown and, and you know that there's going to be a time in that ceremony where you're going to walk across stage and the president, provost, somebody's going to shake your hand, hand you a diploma, congratulate you, and, and you're going to get off the other side. They're going to have president waiting for you and they'll be taking pictures and everybody will be shaking your hand and say congratulations today you become a success you're, you're a college graduate now now my friend you did not become a success the day that you got your diploma now what you did have happen to you in that ceremony is you got recognized for success the diploma is recognition of what you have done the previous four or five years. You see, you were a success in your freshman year when you decided to not drop out of school like some of your other classmates and decided to stick to it. And you were a success every time you studied for a test. And you were a success every time you did a project or, or did a writing assignment. You see, you're a success all through, all through school. Uh, you're a success every day. Success is a daily thing, not a destination thing. The day you got the diploma, you just got recognized for the success that you already were. Now that's very essential. Because so many times people have a, have a tendency to devalue the moment today. What they do is they greatly value the destination. And so they kind of talk about, well, when I get there, or if I arrive there, or when I do that, or when I accomplish this. And they don't understand that success is a daily thing. And I'm here to share with you that the secret of success is determined by your daily agenda. In fact, I wrote a book a few years ago called Today Matters. I'm passionate about that book because what it does is it helps you, it helps me to understand that we make decisions and then we manage decisions. And, and too often we think, I will make a decision. For example, you're saying, I'm going to make a decision to be a coach. Or I'm going to make a decision. To, you know what? I'm going to make a decision to, to be a public speaker. I want to be a communicator. Well, congratulations. congratulations. You've made a wonderful decision. Coach, speaking, good decisions. But that won't make you a successful coach. That won't make you a successful communicator. 
It's not the decision that makes you. You've got to make the decision by managing it, and you manage the decision on a daily basis. In other words, what you want to be tomorrow, you've got to do today. You visualize tomorrow. That gives you hope, and that's your motivation, and that's your dream. You, nothing wrong with that. You visualize tomorrow, but you value today. What's that mean? That means that what I do every day is either getting me closer to that vision, that dream, that goal, or it's really driving me farther away from it. You see, every day we are either repairing or we're preparing. You see, if I messed up yesterday, guess what I get to do today? Fix yesterday. <laughs> In other words, if I didn't do the right thing yesterday, what I got to do today is I've got to repair. I've got to go back, make amends, backtrack, put the car in reverse, put my life in reverse. I've got to go back there. I've got to repair. Now, every day I spend repairing, I'm not spending preparing. Well, you see, we repair when we fail to manage the decisions that we've made. We prepare when we, on a daily basis, manage the decisions that we've made. So your footprints to success are really footprints of success because every step that is made and taken based upon the goals that you have for your life and you're managing those goals correctly, every step is the progressive realization of success in your life. And by the way, oh, you, you'll get the diploma, you'll get the certificate, but, but when you get that, you didn't arrive. It just is another step in preparing you to reach your potential. Each one of us should live our life as if. We'll never learn everything we never le need to learn. We'll never be able to accomplish everything we wanted to accomplish. We won't be able to experience everything we wanted to experience. We should live our life every day hungry, understanding that we are to live until we die. You see, I think success can't be summarized in a flippant degree or program or diploma or arrival. I think today, if you are learning to coach, if you are learning to speak, if you're doing the things that are essential to the decisions and you're managing those decisions well, can I say something to you? Congratulations. You are already a success. Now, guess what? Over time, it shows up. You've heard the expression. You maybe have even said it yourself. You've heard the expression, I'm sure. I've worked all my life to become an overnight success. <laughs> That's the way it works. All of a sudden, somebody recognizes you. All of a sudden, somebody congratulates you. You didn't get good at that moment. You've been good for a long time. It just showed up someday. So... As I walk alongside of you, the reason we have tools and resources and helps and principles that we teach is because every day we want you to learn, every day we want you to grow, every day we want you to absorb, every day we want you to do the things that will help you to someday be the person that you want to become. The journey is a delightful experience. The only thing better than taking the journey by yourself is to take the journey with someone else, to learn together, to grow together, to develop together, to be great together. That's what I want for you. Now, if you're interested in that kind of a life, a life that experiences and manages success on a daily basis, then go to johnmaxwellteam.com and you and I We'll take the journey together. I hope you enjoyed the lesson in the first video, Footprints to Follow on the Path Toward Success. Of my, this is a four-part series of making this your best year ever. I'm looking forward to sharing the second video with you on how does someone add personal value to this economy, where I will teach you 
on just why difficult times require leaders and how having a strong foundation is key uh, to being a part to build your dream and how uh, help discover you and how your assets, your greatest assets can, can be challenged during this time and, and yet can be developed. It's, it's my pleasure to add value to you. Please let me know what you think by leaving your comments. You, I, I want to hear from you. Please also feel free to share uh, these videos with someone else that you wish to inspire. In other words, pass it on. If it helped you, give it to someone else. And by all means, enjoy.